after being shut down for what seems like an eternity, Hog Island Oysters is finally back in business at San Francisco's Ferry Building. Let's go ahead and see what became of that little oyster bar. The chowder bowl just as tasty, the oyster shuckers busier than ever, and the oyster bar is bigger. Plus, the restaurant itself is twice the size and packed to the gills. For the weekend, oh my God, oh my God. it's crazy. <laughs> yes. For foodies, this is a little mini paradise. So it's oysters, clams, mussels, you name it, we do it. There are three bars. Yes, you can even get a stiff drink here now. And the menu, manager Greg Hines runs down just a few of the new items. Oh boys, uh, seafood stew, mussels, mussels and frites. We have french fries now, which will make a lot of people happy. But let's not forget the real star of the show. They need their fix. Well, yes, I'm an oyster fan. Here, they're really fresh. They're not too big and have a really great selection. These came out of the water this morning, and I like to taste them like that. It's not often you come across it in this neck of the woods like wow. that. I know, and that's the way we do it every day. And you'll want to wash down that oyster with a good bubbly or a white. And contrary to the label, no oysters were harmed in making this oyster wine. Is it true about oysters? What do you mean? <laughs> My top picks, besides any of the oysters, of course, the halibut ceviche, the clam strips with remoulade sauce, and the Bloody Mary with hogwash. To find out more about Hog Island oysters at the Ferry Building, go to our website at cronfor.com and click on Dine and Dish. In San Francisco, Vicki Liviakis, Cron 4 News.